All right, so we're gonna move on to a conversation that a lot of you are having. Is it fair to call out people's behavior that took place in a different time or a different era? That's the question many asked after this old interview with Diane Sawyer and Britney Spears resurfaced. Now, another old interview is getting a lot of attention. It's David Letterman interviewing Lindsay Lohan in 2013. Many are calling Letterman out for making fun of her personal life, particularly her struggles with addiction. Take a look. Now, uh, aren't you supposed to? Aren't you supposed to be in rehab now? Do you not watch anything that goes on. Yes. And how long will you be in rehab? Uh, three months. How many times have you been in rehab? Several. And what? What? How will this time be different? What are they rehabbing? First of all, what? What is on their list? What? What are they going to work on when you walk through the door? We didn't discuss in the, this in the pre-interview. No. A lot of people are calling on Letterman to apologize for that, but this is all part of that much deeper conversation. Is it fair to call this out, even though it took place in a different time? We want to hear from you. Go to dblvote.com. Tell us what you think. What would you think, Al? Now, is it fair? I mean, you can argue that it's fair. I would question, if, is it productive? What are we doing if we're going back and reviewing this? I think, and I watched the entire interview, which is about 14 minutes, I think the way that this is cut and the way that most people saw this interview, they saw David Letterman is hacking her. What I saw when I watched the full interview twice was I saw a young woman advocate for herself in a way that I have never seen on television. If you watch the entire interview, you can see at the beginning, she's leaning back, her body language is like, hey, what are you doing? Where are you going with this? And then as they're going along, she snatches his jokes out of his hand. And says and reads them and goes, don't do these. And he didn't. And at the end of the interview, and I'm giving you a quick summation, she, he paid her a compliment. She started crying. And I felt like right in that moment, David Letterman didn't see her as a guest to be lampooned, but a, a girl three times younger than him that was in a lot of trouble. And I hope the audience did, too. So I really was really proud of Lindsay and the way that she handled this interview. Yeah, it started with Britney, right, Al? And I said, what about the Lindsay Lohans of the world? Now, here's Lindsay Lohan. Right. What about the Corey Hames of the world? What about the Kardashians of the world? I could go on and on and name people. Are we going to apologize and say things every single day? As a journalist, maybe David, David Letterman needs to apologize. That's fine. If you want everyone to apologize, it dilutes the apology. It, it, it does. If everyone's apologizing every day, it doesn't really mean anything. Do you want to go back as journalists and not ask people these questions? Britney Spears was in the relationship of all relationships, and you can't ask her if she cheated on her boyfriend you can't ask Charlie Sheen if he ever had relations with a prostitute we're, I mean as journalists how are we not supposed to ask a question and then be lampooned for it ten years later I mean it's it's getting well, ridiculous but these aren't journalists like let's be honest like we're not David Letterman is an entertainer comedian he's not a journalist like okay, I talk think show, we throw same out the word journalist far too leniently no it's not the same thing because journalists actually have this code of journalistic integrity I'm coming from a morning radio background we, you have to understand what was happening you know 10 15 20 years ago and b beyond that people would be like be snatching their pearls I mean they there was this very famous phrase, fame or shame, all the same game, because there was this idea that whether you were doing something of your talents that made you famous or you were doing something that was giving you some type of notoriety in some capacity, that was still great. Now, I think there is a difference between a Charlie Sheen who being off the rails became his brand, but Charlie was a whole grown man. You're talking about a generation of young women, young girls, who they're used to be clocks to tick off till they turned 18 so that they could further sexualize the language used to describe them. Britney Spears was one of the first to be in, on that platform and sexualized in that way because everyone thought she put it out there with Hit Me Baby one more time. She didn't put it out there. Her machine put it out there. Lindsay Lohan, same thing. You know, then we turn around and we say, well, what happened to these women? Why have, have things gone so left well because society set it up that way and if anybody complained about it we would tell them to go and cry into their huge bag of money right well that's the oh. really quickly let me jump please, in here and defend please. Jeff because I'm with Jeff on this one and Erica to your point 
It was a different time back then. That is not an excuse because I completely cringed when I watched the David Letterman interview. I completely cringed when I watched Diane Sawyer interviewing Britney Spears. However, we were all complicit. Society accepted that, that back then. And believe me, I am so in tune to addiction. I know addiction very, very well. But we did accept that type of behavior. All of us. We were all complicit. So, no, I don't think we should retroactively go back and look for interviews from David Letterman, from Diane Sawyer. Diane Sawyer is a journalist, and at that time, she was doing her job. Again, <laughs> it, I'm not defending it, but I understand it because we all were not woke back then. However, look at it as a positive. We've all grown. Right. We've all and grown. We watch that, it now and we cringe. That's the great thing, Sam. And it's like, like you started a, years ago with Dr. Drew talking about mental health. And think about how crazy it looks now, Jeff, Erica, to ask somebody why they're going to rehab again. We all know that we yep. all know somebody or we all have struggled with addiction and it's not funny anymore. And it was before. Look how we made fun of Amanda Bynes. That was what, seven years ago, you guys? Seven years ago, the whole world collectively made fun of Amanda Bynes. I didn't hear anybody advocating for her, but Dr. Drew at the time. So let's just remember that we have grown, but is it productive to your original point, Al, to go back and penalize these people when we all collectively were complicit? That's my take.